Poor fat man is back again. I realized my gun sighted him with different ammo, so I'm gonna have to sight it in a little bit. Let me get my ears and eyes on and my clip loaded up and see if I can get these to hit close enough to the bullseye so I can hit the zucchini. Make my gun clear and safe. Let's head down to the range here. We hit, I'm gonna say, roughly three and a half, four, three and a half to four inches low. So now, The best thing you can do at this point is to point your scope at where you hit and crank it up or just crank it up the number of clicks that it should be but we're 10 yards away or 30 foot so you have to crank 10 times as many clicks. With four clicks being an inch at a hundred yards, I cranked it up 40 clicks and I'm gonna shoot and see how that does. Loading up the gun, eyes and ears. I'm shooting freehand, so this ain't gonna probably be perfect. My vice that I normally use, I believe got stolen. It seemed like 40 clicks. Didn't make a whole lot of difference. I'm going to try holding over and going from there because, well, I want it to be close when I sight it in at 100. Here, in case if I can get it to focus. You wanted to see what these Winchester bullets look like, but hell. I'm having a hard time getting it to focus. Maybe I need to move it out some. I'm on focus. There's what she looks like. Now let's go back the other direction. Load the gun up, turn the safety on, eyes and ears. Let's go see where we hit with the holdover. Hmm. 
still didn't hold over enough. Just a hair off of the center. I might shoot that clay pigeon next. Let's see, I'm mostly shooting to the right, so I might collect to the left a little bit. Let me see here. Yep, the clay pigeon's in there. Load the gun, safety on, eyes and ears. Yep, I drilled it. And it fell down. Hopefully you guys saw it. But there's the busted up clay. So now, here's our first victim. The mighty zucchini. Let's see what we do to it. Anyway, I guess my niece always wants me to say, don't try this at home. Anyhow, be really safe with firearms. Always keep them in a safe, make sure they're clear and um, do it proper. We're all Americans. We all should have freedom, freedom of speech and all that, but some people don't believe that. I'm a veteran and I do believe it. I was willing to fight for it and I feel that taking away people's rights should be punishable by death. There we go. Load the gun. Eyes and ears. Let's do our best. I hope you guys saw that. She smacked her pretty good. We're walking up on her. We, uh, we gutted her. Blew the whole top side out. And that zucchini's really tough, boy. That's that's hard, hard as heck to cut. I guarantee you, that'll drop a deer where it stood, no problem. Well, let's move on to the next rounds. Here we go, the Hornady Varmint Express 55 grain VLH. Or VL, anyway. V Max. Bullets loaded by Hornady. First, let's see where she's hitting. She's loaded, eyes and ears. Here we go. Let's see where she hit. Walking down on her. Focus. She hit right there, about two inches low and two inches to the left. We'll try hitting a zucchini next. Here we go.
Oh, we drilled her. She flew clear off the back. Whoops. Clear the gun. Make her safe. And let's head on down. Almost got carried away there. I don't know for sure, but I heard there's people that are on the safety patrol. There's a lizard. Did you seize him? He was pretty good size. I don't know if I caught him on camera or not. He was moving on. With this bullet, we hit a little bit low. It looks like we might have caught it. Or it might have exited out that hole there. That hole there. I should have brought a knife with me. But. I think she done a pretty good job. This zucchini is really tough. Hard to tear apart. And I believe she did exit out that hole there because I can't find no trace of the bullet. Even after I tore it apart. Well, let's try to drill the clay pigeon because we did it with the other round. And I'll save another zucchini. Or when I test out my 243, I believe the 243 is probably the best dare rifle ever made. That's my opinion. All right, let's get her set up. Yep, I see the clay in focus. Load the gun, turn her from safe to fire. Eyes and ears. We smacked it. It didn't bust it up as good as the other round. Clear the gun. Put it on safe. Let's head down and take a look. Considering she's not really sighted in yet. You can see we hit it right there. Let me go back here in the shade. You can see we hit it right there, which ain't a bad hit considering it ain't really sighted in. It's sighted in with hard cast and we're just kind of holding a little over. It didn't mash it up. Like the soft points, and the soft points did a better overall damage clear through the uh, other zucchini. This only had a small part to get through. So I think the Winchester soft points would be the better bullet for deer, in my honest opinion. Like, share, subscribe. God bless everyone, and I hope you enjoy the video. Bye for now.